I've taught modern physics a lot, and in modern physics you talk about the structure of matter and elementary particles and whatnot. Well, electron is one of the elementary particles. It does not get broken down any farther than that. This is my, my last talk, <laughs> my final lecture. That makes it sound so finite, I don't know. I spent most of my professional career doing research on electron sources, like materials that emit electrons. So I figured this would be a, a good summary on free electrons. I, I also like to do demonstrations during classes. So I, I plan to do a few demonstrations here and there. I structured the talk so it's for a general audience. It's not necessarily for uh, physics majors. I hope, my, I hope my grandkids will be there and I hope they'll understand a little bit. So I want to give us a little history and uses of electron sources and uh, you know, kind of explain the difference between free electrons that you might comb out of your hair and the ability to free electrons for uh, commercial use. As an undergraduate, I went to Linfield, and Linfield Research Institute was uh, going strong, and historically, Linfield and Linfield physics professors primarily, and Linfield Research Institute had a long history of working on electron sources, field emission research. Uses have been imaging electron microscopes, but now it's expanded x-rays, additive manufacturing, 3D printing, it's, it's amazing. <laughs>